about to head up to Cary to watch the Charlotte Independence take on the Carolina Railhawks and the U.S. Open Cup. Should be a pretty fun trip. We've arrived at Wake Med Soccer Park. Got about an hour and a half until game time. Now we're just gonna do a little bit of tailgating, drink some beer, eat some chicken, wait until kickoff. I'm here with Kendall, who happens to be the president of Jack's Militia. So Kendall, tell us a little bit about Jack's Militia. What exactly is it? Jack's Militia is one of the supporter groups for the Charlotte Independents. Uh, one of many, actually, but probably the largest supporter group. So, what's at stake tonight for the Independents? Uh, this U.S. Open Cup for Pride in North Carolina, of course, to be the best team in North Carolina. Also, the winner of this game will host the New England Revolution in the next round. All right, guys, I'm here with Ryan. He is the president of Oak City Supporters, which is the big Railhawk supporters group. So, Ryan. Tell me about Oak City Supporters, like what are you guys all about? And... Yeah man, uh, Oak City Supporters has been around for a little over a year. Uh, we're really about supporting and uh, promoting soccer in the downtown Raleigh area, um, namely the Real Hawks because they're our local team. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I mean we just try to get all those people who come out to Premier League games, that come out to U.S. national team games and get them to support their local team. Absolutely, yeah that's awesome. So what's at stake tonight for the Real Hawks? Oh man, uh, a lot of things are at stake, you know, at stake. Uh, for one, in-state pride, we're Absolutely. playing Charlotte, so you know, you want to yep. have the bragging right against Charlotte versus, versus the Real Hawks. Um, also the Open Cup, which for the Real Hawks has been a big thing. Uh, we progressed pretty far. Um, most years in the Open Cup, we beat the LA Galaxy three times, beat some other MLS squads. Um, however, last year we went out in the first round for the first time in a long time to, yeah, Charlotte. to Charlotte. So, uh, a lot of bragging rights and pride on the line. I'm here with independent Gary. super fan Gary. Super. Gary, I heard you having issues downstairs. What's going on, man? <laughs> a little bit of stickiness. Uh, yeah. main, mainly right ball to right thigh. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Having technical difficulties over here. <laughs> I've been attacked by the cold beer flag. Straight red. $10 for the, the seat, 33rd but you don't minute. Need that. The guy <laughs> went to head a ball that was super low. Apparently a foot. Yeah, good hit cross. Good cross. Second half's gonna be tough. It's all to play for in the last 45. So hope that our boys can stay strong and make it happen. Caleb Calvert banks one straight over the crossbar. Our best opportunity we've had in the second half. They've had a ton of possession. It's gonna be tough, but we're holding strong right now. He's awful. Yellow for his logic. 75th minute. They've got a free kick in the attacking half. We'll see how it goes. Oh, that's our goalkeeper. Cody Mazzell with a huge save in the 80th minute. Still nil no. Massive save by Cody Mazzell in the 83rd minute. Cody Mazel, definitely the man of the match. No matter what happens after this, he has made some incredible saves to keep us in the game. We got two 15 minute periods of extra time. After that, PKs. Hopefully, we can make it to PKs at this point because our opportunities have been few and far between. We'll see what happens. Real Hawks goals, 90 second minute. Bad throw in, led to a turnover. We got 30 minutes to go. 96 minutes. Real Hawks just scored a second goal. It's going to be really tough from here. I think it's the 99th minute. Real Hawks just scored a third goal. Our boys are tired. It's the end of the first half of extra time. 
three nil. Oh my god. Man down. Away from home. We're making as much noise as we can. It's a shame. So fourth Railhawks goal. So it ended five nil. Tough result to take, but the score doesn't match the match. The Independents played amazing. They can only take so much fitness-wise. Once we got into extra time, it was bound to happen eventually. We are just hoping we could get them on a counter or something. Take it to PKs, but our boys played great. We'll get them next time. On the bright side, we're doing great in the USL. We'll keep it going. Beers and victory, beers and defeat.